What's up, guys? PDC here. Um, for the first time in a long time, uh, I had to run upstairs real quick to get this game because it started abruptly. I wanted someone to highlight me before it started, but this is Brangan or, or TV Raka, as he was formerly known, versus uh, Soul Gazer for World Cup of Pokemon, uh, DPPOU. And uh, Porygon is of Team Germany, Soul Gazer is of Team Canada. So Porygon is going to leave it Frost last and get two layers of spikes up. Um, Soul Gazer is going to leave it Heatran. Switch with the Gengar, um, I can only assume that the Heatran is going to be Specs because of Flamethrower. I don't know any lead sets that use uh, anything but, uh, like, you know, if it, I don't know what other setting would be. Um, but we see Purring go to Scizor and pursue the Gengar for 67 after a burn, uh, meaning this is probably going to be a uh, CB Zor because they don't know any other set that's going to be 67 and it's obviously not Scarf. Uh, so Gengar is probably going to die here. Um, but he's actually right. Uh, he did versus speed tie. Uh, okay, he's gonna miss, and that kind of sucks. Um, but Gengar, he actually risked the speed tie there. Uh, he could have got hit by an icy wind. Uh, on the second turn. Um, but okay, or on the first turn. So we're gonna see Heatran, Gengar, Swampert. Swampert is gonna have rocks and set them up here. Uh, Perengan's probably going to be having, it's obviously a hyper offense team, so it's probably going to be like Frostlass, Scizor, yep, there's a Starmie, uh, probably have another setup sweeper, might have Denite, almost definitely has Dragonite, uh, now that I see the spikes. It could be Zapdos, oh, that's, whoa, Orb Surf, that's actually a very, okay, any crits. Um, so Dragonite, uh, I don't know, man, even with two spikes, yeah, there's Denite, um, Here's the thing, Solgazer is really in a though. He's in a good position. I mean, Scizor is burnt. D Knight, you know, I mean, there's no rocks on Solgazer's side, and we know he has probably an immunity. Uh, there's a Draco. It's going to take out the Swampert. Mix Knight could be dangerous. I thought it'd be D Knight if he's running spikes, uh, but it doesn't really matter. There's a Lucario. Interesting choice. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to have Ice Punch, uh, which means it's going to be either Scarf Luke or just SD Life Orb Ice Punch. It could be Stone Edge too, but I don't think you would risk that because you probably have another way to beat it. Uh, so, I mean, unless Soul Gazer is doing some really stupid play here and trying to SD up on like a Switch or something, but I, I doubt he's going to be doing that. There was no reason for him to do that. So, Scizor, me, last, D Knight, a Scarfer. Yep, there's Ice Punch, meaning this could be either SD Ice Punch or Agility Ice Punch. Um, yep, Infernape, and last is probably going to be Scarf Tom. So it looks like Soul Gazer is in pretty good graces right now. Uh, I don't know his last two. I'm assuming he probably has something like a Flygon. Uh, he already has two steals. He might have a T-Tar if he's running Lucario. I'd say a pretty good chance. He might, yeah, there's E-Speed for 55. And we're going to see. There's a CC. Uh, he can't switch in Heatran here. And if his last is actually T-Tar or Flygon or something, that'd be pretty interesting. There we see the Flygon, which I assume is going to be Scarf. And Springen's last, like I said, is probably going to be a Scarf Rotom. So I'm not too sure um, how this is going to turn out. Uh, I actually, I am pretty sure because there's no way that Soul Gazer can win. Uh, I mean, he just goes for. I would just. I mean, Soul Gazer knows, or at least he should know, that his last is probably going to be a Scarf Rotom. At least I would think it'd be a Scarf Rotom because you want to keep Hazard down uh, on the field. Um, so I would assume it would be a Scarf Ghost. Really? I mean, Soul Gazer's last, you know, like I said, I, I think it might be a T-Tar. Um, because if you're running Lucario, you need a Pursuiter, or you want a Pursuiter. Uh, he's Ice Punch, E-Speed, CCSD, so yeah, a Pursuiter would be very nice for Rotom. Rotom is actually really annoying, the Soul Gazer's team. Um, his Fly Guy... Starmie Answer, I mean, his last is probably T-Tar, dude. Like, like, honestly. Um, I'm looking at the chat here, but Pringan and Soul Gazer are both thinking... Uh, Soul Gazer is really think it's whether he wants to outrage or not, because I don't think Brangan's last is an SD user. I think it's a Scarf Rotom. Uh, he goes for the EQ, uh, but I guess Soul Gazer, yep, good play. And I gotta say his last is Rotom one more time, and we see a Scizor. Maybe his last is Lucario. I, I don't know, um, but I thought that it would be... I mean, technically he has CD Zor and the Knight and Fernape, potentially, for, for, du for dual to triple priority. Um, so maybe he doesn't need a choice Scarfer, but, you know, I mean, you really want Hazard to be on the field at all times, so maybe it's a Lucario, uh, I, I don't know, um, but even if it is, you know, it, it's gonna come down to, uh, whatever it is. Um, 
Rookie, I mean, there's not really any other setup sweeper that I can imagine it being. Um, it could be, maybe it could be a Kingdra. I don't know. Um, it could be a Kingdra. I, I, I guess it's, it's possible, but I don't know. Um, if it was Rotom, I mean, you go, I would have went Rotom on the EQ. This is it's going to be obviously Scarf, and then you would probably double back the Zor on the Titar or on the Tran. I, I, I don't know. This is this is odd. Uh, they're really taking a lot of time here. Uh, Soulgazer is probably thinking that, oh, what if this thing is a levitating at setup user? Um, I only have one that could really win out here is like either like Celia maybe or like Rain Dance Kingdra. If it's Rain Dance Kingdra last, then yeah, this is definitely going to be an uh, interesting game depending on Soulgazer's last, which. Like I said, is is probably Tyranitar, so it's not going to be a loss either way. But I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think if it was Rotom, you go Rotom. Uh, maybe it's a Titar. Maybe it's maybe it's D Titar. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, both these guys are taking a ridiculously long time. They're really thinking about this. I mean, Prangan. I, I don't know what he's going for here. Um, I'm, I'm thinking it's it's Titar last on Soulgazer's side. I mean, when you really think about it, uh, Raka is using a hyper offense, and Soulgazer is using more of a balanced team that specs uh, Heatran. It would make sense if it was Titar. I wouldn't. Uh, it's certainly in the, in the books. I mean, he has a Pert, he has a Gar, he has a Mook, uh, and yeah, there's the EQ, and there is the superpower uh, for 45. Maybe it's. I don't know. Uh, what's your last, buddy? What is your last? Um, I mean, Heatran is going to be living a minus one. I think if you go Heatran here, there's almost nothing that can survive a spec strand for sure. Uh, if it's Zucario, you already are out spec and get killed. Um, if it's Kingja, I mean, you Earth Power. Uh, I mean, it's better than Earthquake, or you. you yeah, you probably Earth Power, and you're 2 a KO no matter what. Um, if it's DD, I mean, you, you, yeah, I, I don't know, I think I would have went Tran there. Uh, we'll see, well, if it's, yeah, if it's Titar, I mean, you Earth Power twice, and Specs Tran, I believe, even if it's Shuka, you're hitting it with Earth Power, and then you're hitting it with Earth Power with Specs again. So, you're not losing that either. Um, and it's not Zor, because you already revealed Zor. I think I would have went Heatran there, um, and just went, okay, it's Jolteon? Okay, good game. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so silly. Uh, he's fucking Jolteon. Um, I mean, it was the same predicament. Yeah, you... you I mean, did Zor die from burn there? Yeah, Zor... Zor yeah, Zor died from burn if he went trap. So that's gonna be Jolteon, and that's gonna be it. Uh, it is incredibly... This is stupid. He didn't bring Stealth Rock. Holy fuck. He actually did not bring Stealth Rock. That's actually stupid. Oh my god. He really didn't bring Stealth Rock. What? Well, it could be SR Ape. Ape could have rocks. Ape could have rocks. Um, but, like, he really did not... I don't know. There's a, there's a good chance he probably had, had Stealth Rock um, on the Infernape. Good, good enough chance. Um, because you could be CC, Fire Move, uh, Stealth Rocks, and, like, Grass Knot. That's not a terrible set. I mean, it's not something I would use because you want to be having eight. You want to have HPIs for D Knight and every other Glyce score and like everything else. But like, I wouldn't put it past TV Raka to have rocks on Ape. I mean, he used the fucking Jolteon, so who knows? Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching. This has been a TVPOU game from World Cup of Pokemon. I hope you all enjoyed it because this is not this is not a great game. This is just back and forth kill 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 with TV Raka bringing the fucking shitty team. Uh, I, I do not like his team. I, I would never use a hyper offense like this. I would never even use Frost Last because to tell you the truth, I think most suicide leads are are actually bad. Um, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, Soulgazer's team is, uh, I think I've seen it before. It seems to be good. I, I would wager Titar last, but whatever. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one. I'll make sure to end this and upload it soon. Peace. Hope you learned something.